Do you know anyone with Down syndrome or Kleinfelter syndrome? These are examples of chromosomal disorders, which are due to non-disjunction. When non-disjunction occurs during meiosis I, replicated homologous chromosomes do not separate correctly. One daughter cell retains both replicated chromosomes. The other daughter cell lacks that chromosome. When a haploid sperm fertilizes an egg with an extra chromosome, trisomy occurs. When a sperm cell fertilizes an egg that lacks a chromosome, monosomy results. In this scenario, either a trisomy or a monosomy results. Non-disjunction can also occur during meiosis II. In this scenario, meiosis I occurs normally. When the daughter cells separate during meiosis II, one daughter cell divides normally, but the other daughter cell divides abnormally. One egg lacks a chromosome while the other egg has an extra chromosome. When a haploid sperm cell fertilizes a haploid egg, a normal diploid results. If the sperm cell fertilizes the egg that lacks a chromosome, then monosomy results. If the sperm cell fertilizes the egg with an extra chromosome, then trisomy results. In this scenario, there is a 50% chance of a normal diploid a 25% chance of a monosomy, and a 25% chance of a trisomy.